Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I have a kind of requested video for y'all. Um, I've got a lot of questions recently regarding the 12 Little Kids Companion Backpack. Now, I have some great news. We are able to get 12 Little in at Zara Boutique. And since I kind of announced that, a lot of people have been asking me about this bag and in particular compared to the Jujubee Mini B because that's what a lot of people are coming from. They're coming from Jujubee and exploring new brands and they want to try to see if this is comparable size to that to the small backpack that Jujubee offers which is the Mini B. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over the two bags and first of all kind of give you a look at the uh, kids little companion backpack. This is in the leopard print and I love this bag. I have had many, many, many bees and I do really appreciate that style because they do come in a lot of different prints and they are very good for preschool bags and for kids. But I find the little companion one by 12 Little, I can get more in. It fits better on my back. It's a little bit more structured, which I enjoy. So it's not falling over all the time like the mini bee does. So before I get too much into it, Let's start uh, with the next part of the video and I'm just going to first of all go over the features of the 12 Little, then I will show you how I have my uh, Jujubee Mini Bee packed up how I would normally take it out for just one child and then what I'm going to do is just show you how that those things fit into the 12 uh, Little little Companion. Alrighty, so here is my Jujubee Mini Bee in the Rosy Posy print and I really don't have that many Mini Bees anymore. This is probably one of two that I have. I used to have a whole heap. But I did de-stash recently and I just kept the ones that I felt like I was going to use. If you're familiar with the Jujubee Mini Bee, you'll kind of know what the features are. Very simple. There's a flap at the front here, pocket. There's two little tiny, tiny <laughs> bottle pockets on either side. There's nice memory foam backpack straps and memory foam back on the back. There's a little tiny grab handle at the front. And inside there's one zip, a little zip compartment, and then that's it. There's no other um, organization. So in this front pocket here, all I have is my iPhone 10. And on the side pockets here, I have my keys in one. And then I just have a Toki Doki coin purse with lipstick and lip stuff and a packet of travel tissues. That's it for the outside of the bag. Inside there are two zipper pulls which is nice and it does zip all the way down and there are gussets So I do have my uh, pure accessories wallet just popped on top And as I said uh, just to remind you guys this is packed up for one child. I am a very minimal packer I don't carry everything but this would last I guess for the most of the day to be honest That is a itsy wrissy snack bag with some nuts and stuff in there. There's not much left She's almost finished all of these. I have a Contigo water bottle right behind that and then it, right here, I've got a small bee organizer with Tigu blocks, a uh, miniature custom play pack that my friend did with just pipsqueak textures and coloring things in there. I have a mini wipe pouch with antibacterial wipes. I have a regular wipe pouch, 30 with baby wipes. And then I have the 12 little uh, large pouch from the trio set which we, we will be getting in two which I it's actually really nice it's such a nice material nice zippers and then you've got this dotty lining I'll do some separate videos of all the accessories but just to have in here just my nappy needs so like two size five nappies coin purse baby ole wet and dry bag and a light change pad from a jujubee xy base and then the last thing back here I just have a coin purse by GGB in rose colored glass with my hairbrush and hair ties. So that's everything I had in the mini B. So, um, you know, I do like the mini B. I just, it's not one that I would reach for regularly. A lot of people love it though. So, yep. So that's that one. And let me grab the 12 little. <laughs> so I might get bombarded by my child and my cat right now. So here they are side by side and you can see that the 12 little is a little bit taller. I think, but it is a lot more structured. The back even is just feels more structured. You do have a big pocket in the front here um, compared to the Mini B that just has a little flat pocket and this pocket, one zipper and you've got this really, really cute lining in here with the doggies and the dinosaur and the stripes. I really like it. And even though this is a kind of a plastic zipper and you have a little, um, I guess, faux leather zipper pull it's really roomy and the zippers are really nice I have no problem with the zippers at, at all you do have to add two zipper pull 
opening on the top here just like in the Mini B. And again, you've got that really cute lining. And the organization in here is there's a mesh pocket at the back here that's long, that's really good. And then in the front part, you've got two slip pockets. And I do like that. You've also got a name tag here because I guess this is designed if you're going to take it to school as a preschool bag or, or whatever so that's really nice and then you've got insulator pockets on the side that do stretch and I really I really like putting bottles in them I can actually get my bottles in there in the back here you do have padded this is like a quilted padded backpack strap plastic adjusters with a little kind of uh, leather fake leather um, tab on the end here little tiny very thick woven web um, seatbelt strap handle. There's no feet on either bag. This is kind of structured on the bottom. So let me now show you how I would fit what I just took out of the Mini B into my 12 Little. So what I normally do for the inside, I normally just stick my nappies in and stuff in this little mesh pocket here without having them in the pouch. I'll try it with the pouch though just to kind of give you an idea because everything's there together. So that fits nicely in there if you're looking at these pouches. This, this pouch is about the same size as a, B, a Juju BB Quick, just for size reference for Juju BB people. It's just, I just, I don't know, I just find it a little bit better made. <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? And you've got my Y Pouch 30. I've got my little play pack. You can see that in there. And then I've got my um, Small Be Organized with the Tigu blocks. Stick that in there too. You know what guys, I actually forgot my small set piece and my hand sanitizer in the Mini B. So I actually don't kind of know how that would have fit. Yes. <laughs> in a minute honey. Where I normally put this is in this little slip. So I turn the bag around. <laughs> in this little slip pocket here at the front. Because it fits in there. And, and then what I normally put in this other side is my wallet and that fits in there. Coin purse with my hairbrush and hair ties and I can either take my wallet out and put that in there which I might do actually and then just have my wallet stuck into the bag like that. Snack bag goes in as well just there like that. A Contigo water bottle in the side here like this right there and then my keys would go into the other pocket, but I can actually get another bottle in there as well. So if I was bringing my other daughter along, I'd put that in there. And then the only other things I've got left are these, and these would go in the front pocket. So let's have a good look inside there. Okay, so everything fit in there really well. And then in the front here, I would just, there's no pockets or anything in this front pocket, but that's okay, because I know my mini wire pouch fits in there. My tissues fit in there, like this. My Tokidoki coin purse with my lipstick and lip gloss and stuff fits in there. And then my phone, my iPhone 10 fits in there too. So easy peasy and everything, everything fits. And it just, it's so comfortable on my back. I really, really enjoy this bag. There you go guys. I hope that gave you a little bit of a rundown. I'm sorry if it was a quick video. I have my daughter up. She hasn't taken a nap yet and I've had so many people ask me, I just wanted to do this video so then I can just put it up and y'all can have a look and you know, kind of get an idea for yourselves whether you think your things would fit in there. So overall, I do really, really like this little backpack. It doesn't feel like a kid's backpack on my back and I'm 5'9", so I'm quite tall and I love that I can just sling it on and it's very, it's just very squishy. There, even though it doesn't have the memory foam on the back here, that actually, I prefer that. I find the memory foam on the back of bags makes me sweat more. I don't know, <laughs> maybe I'm weird. But I actually prefer not to have memory foam on the back. I don't mind it on the backpack straps, but on the back, it's kind of too hot for me. So that was my little comparison between the two bags and a little overview of the 12 little, uh, little companion backpack. If you have any questions or comments, please pop them below and I will be happy to address those. And I hope you guys have a great day. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.